So I took Lily Trampoline in, and in half term. And uh, oh, the scum were out. Yes, there were. Sophie said I'm not allowed to call other family scum, but sometimes that's all. Wah! Excuse me. Like I said, where was I? Oh, yes, calling other people scum, of course. <laughs> yeah, so I took Lily trampoline, and she kind of does half trampoline and half, half like just walking around the trampoline park, playing with other things. So you've got the, you've got the lockers there, and she loves just opening the locker and pretending that there's tea cups and saucers and mugs, and we're just we'll have a break from jumping up and down, and we'll have a break from jumping up and down, and we'll just start doing a tea party. And we're having a lovely time, and she always says she gets to about, you know, it's an hour, so it's a big session for a two-year-old, right? But we get to about halfway, and she starts saying, I want juice. And I go, Lily, no, we're not getting juice. We've been to do this. Well, you're not having juice. You've got a nice big bottle of water. If you're thirsty, you can drink that. We're going to get juice after trampoline. And that juice is the reward for jumping up and down for an hour so that you can nap and Dad can do 90 minutes of work in the middle of the day. And normally it's fine. Every other time it's been fine, but... There was this one kid that that I've never seen. So I'm going to attribute it. I'm going to call him half-term scum. And it was this one little kid. And he had a a big sweaty kid, right? Like sweaty, horrible kid. And Lily's just minding her own business. I'm just sat on the benches. I'm having a drink of water myself. And Lily's trying to get a tea party going with one of the lockers. And this kid went out. And basically, Lily walked past. And she saw that this kid had a fruit shoot. So she was like eyeing the fruit shoot up. But she wasn't going anywhere near him. She was just walking past. And I watched, and I watched this little kid just bloody march over, like so bossy, like pointed at her like a pantomime villain, and just went, "You aren't having any juice." And she was like, and I was like, "Oh God!" I was like, right. "I was like, how are Lily? What are you gonna do?" And she was just stood there, and she just like had a pretend teapot, and she just walked straight past him, just didn't give him the time of day, and just me and Lily carried on like drinking the tea party thing. And I was like, fantastic. And then he came over again, and me and Lily are there, and he just went, you aren't having any juice. And I just went, oh, it's okay, mate, don't worry. You know, trying to be all like, oh, you know, I'm really trying my best not to kill you. I was like, would we, we get our juice afterwards? We're absolutely fine, we're fine, we're fine. And everything was great. And then there was about 10 minutes left and bouncing up and down. And then the kid fucking came over and just went to Lily again. And he just went, you don't have juice. And I was like, right, this is this is getting personal now. This is three unprovoked attacks. And like I said, there was 10 minutes left. And now all of a sudden we're back off and we're doing the tea party thing again. And Lily's just having a drink of water, just doing her, doing her thing, doing her thing. And then I heard, and I'm, but I'm really angry at this point. I know you should never be angry at another kid, but you can't. You get so protective, and you just, you know, I'm like, why, why is the mama dad not having a word as well? But, but again, you know, you don't know what type of day they're having. I'm again, I mean, Christ Almighty, let's go back to um, Jan. You're a bit closer. She didn't know what type of day I was having, so you know, let's let's not try and judge here. All right, even though I blatantly did, and the kids are like, you aren't having any juice. And then I heard the kid go to his mom, can I have some pom bears? And I heard the mom go, no, you've already had pom bears. You're not having any more pom bears. And I th- I'm, not, I'm 36 years old, and I did this to a three-year-old boy. As soon as I heard the mom say, you're not having any pom bears, I looked at Lily, and we've got 10 minutes left. You're, you're not meant to leave. You're not meant to go to the cafe until afterwards. But I looked at Lily. I just went, Lily, would you like some juice? And she went, yes. And I went, just dead quiet. I went, would you like some pom bears? And she was like, yes. And I went and I got a juice and pom bears early just so we could come back in with 10 minutes to go for trampoline and, and eat the pom bears in front of this lad. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. It worked as well. I'm very happy to tell you it worked. The plan worked wonderfully. Uh, Lily had some juice. She was eating the pom bears. And then I saw the kid and the kid was like looking at the pom bears. And I was just like, I, I mean, I would have loved to have just stood up and just pointed, going, you don't get any pom bears, you little twat. You know, but, and thankfully Lily didn't because she's already, she's two years old and she's already a better person than her dad. I would have loved to have done that, but I just saw the kid look at the pom bears, get gutted. And then he went to his mom. He was like, mom, can I have pom bears? And she was like, no, you're not having pom bears. You've already had pom bears. I was like, ah, that's what you get, you little shit. You little, little twat. <laughs> so a good time was had by all a Christmas miracle was time a Christmas miracle was had at the trampoline park 
trying to bloody make Lily cry a little, little so-and-so. You can't call somebody a so-and-so after you've already called them a shit and a twat, can you? Nah. 